Hey guys, welcome back to Marketing Pandas Global. In this video, I'm gonna tell you how to create Google Ads for iOS app install campaign. So guys, if you have an iOS application which you want to install on your target audience's mobile phone, then this is the video which you have to follow till the end. And by the end of this video, you'll be able to create a proper campaign which will help you to get installations for your iOS application. So stay tuned with the video and let's get started. So guys, as you can see right now, I'm in my Google ad account, right? And this is the typical dashboard. And from here, you have to click on new campaign button so that you can create a new campaign for, for your iOS application, right? Click on new again. Now, once you are here, you have to select your objective. So the ob objective is to promote our app, right? Promote our application. So this would be the objective right here. So we have to select this. Then we have only one campaign type, which is app that says drive downloads and grow engagement for your application. So this is the campaign type, which we are going to choose and we don't have any option. Although then we have select your campaign subtype here. We have three options. The first one is app installation then app engagement and if you uh, want to get pre-registration for your application but this is available for android only right so you have two options available for ios so most of the app promotion campaign you uh, gets used for app installations right so we are also you uh, going to use this for app installation otherwise you can use app engagement as well but there is one criteria that you have to at least 250k installs on your application, right? Otherwise, let's go with this one app install. Then here we have to select your mobile app platform, which is obviously iOS. Now we do have our application in Android platform, but we don't have uh, right now. It is in uh, iOS. It is in developing phase. So we are going to select any other third party application and Gmail would be fine. This is from Google and yeah, this is just to show you. This is an example that how we can select the app. This is the basically uh, when you search here, this uh, app will be searched in app store, right? Let me select the iOS again and write Gmail. Yeah, it is. And once you select the app here, you will be see able to see that uh, your app is not connected with your Google Ads account. And yes, that is not connected because I can't connect Gmail into your Google, uh, into my Google Ad account, right? And how you can connect, basically you have to just set the conversion from tools and settings in conversion, conversion section, right? Here you can set the conversion so that uh, you can track that how many installs you are getting. Otherwise you would be not able to track pro properly, right? So it is pretty important to create a conversion and if you don't know how to create conversion action, then uh, please refer to our previous videos where we have shown you in this Google ads course, right? So this is how let it load. So this is how you create your conversion. We have uh, created few conversions here, uh, phone call, download engagement, then purchase. And that's how you can create. You just have to click on this new conversion action and follow the process. And if you don't know, then you have to follow our video in this uh, course, right? Now, from here we have now when you select the app you have to name your uh, name this campaign it is preset name let me just add one more thing here demo right demo ios this would be fine right then hit the continue button and now you you'll be into the campaign creation process. Basically here are four steps which you have to follow. The first one is campaign settings. So our mobile application is already been selected. Then we have to select the location. Now you don't have to select this all countries and territories option because this option will just waste your money, right? You don't have to select this. Otherwise, if you want to select or if you want to promote your application in different, different countries, then you have to or you should create multiple campaigns for that, right? for uh, different countries and if you want to promote it in all over the country you can select this option otherwise you can set any specific location as well let's say i'm selecting delhi which is the uh, capital of india right i'm targeting this otherwise if i click on advanced search i'll be able to select from 
advanced search option as well where i get two options the first one is location wise like as i shown you delhi or i can add one more city like this is gurugram here right this is nearby delhi as you can see in the map so let me add gurugram as well and once i hit the target button it will be selected this the Guru Ram city has been also selected, right? But if you want to target radius wise, you can do that as well. Let's say I want to target Noida and the nearby area of under 20 kilometer. Let's say this is the Noida, right? Now let's say I write Noida, right? This is and the area would be uh, around 20 miles, right? Nearby area 20 miles, as you can see here. Noida and the nearby 20 miles of area in the radius have been selected right now let me click on save button I have selected three locations one uh, location targeting and one is radius targeting right then we have location option few location options are here the first one it says that whom you want to target the people who live in that particular location or people who are searching for that location so it is recommended that uh, you want to target the people who live in that location or who are searching for that uh, for for that particular location both will be targeted right and in this option the people who are living in that location would be targeted and in this location uh, in this option the people who are searching for that particular location would be targeted so this one is the recommended but it is up to you that which you want to select right then same goes with the exclusion if you have added any exclusion uh, exclusion city let's say uh, you want to exclude any particular area in Delhi so you can add that and click on exclude and that area will be excluded and same goes for this that people who are uh, living in that excluded area would be excluded or people who are living or showing interest or basically searching for that particular area would be excluded right Do those uh, two options are available then once you are said with the location you have to select the language so English is my first language if I want let it go I have just added English otherwise if you want you can add other languages as well let's say my audience is English as well as Hindi speaking so I've added two languages right then we have few more settings here start and end it if you want you can add let's say I don't want to start this campaign from today onwards so I can uh, add a start date like after three days right maybe 16 or 17 right and i can add end date as well right then everything is done hit the next button now you are into budget and bidding section now you have to add the budget that how much you want to spend let's say uh, i want to spend uh, at least 1500 which is around 20 dollar so uh, i want to spend 1500 rupees it is in rupees i'm in india so the country uh, the currency is rupees right so it is around 20 dollars so i'm i want to spend 20 dollars on a daily budget right now bidding what type of bidding you want to uh, basically where you want to focus on install volumes or you want to uh, get in-app action so basically we want volumes right we want installs so install volume is the proper proper thing to focus on then it is showing one caution that how would you want how do you want to track install volume so we can't track because we haven't added conversion action right so i've already told you to create conversion action but for that you have to connect your application right so you can create conversion action by con by clicking on the setting and tools and settings option and when you create your conversion action all automatically your app will be connected right so we are using gmail that's why we can't do that right for that you have to have your own application and obviously you will run ads for your own application right then we have what kind of users do you want to target so we have two options all users or users likely likely to perform an in-app application oh in-app action so basically you can select this but when you select this your number of audience will be decrease drastically right so in initial basis it is good to select all users then when you uh, get some data in your ad account then you can create one more campaign with using this option right now set a target cost per install so if you have any number that my one conversion can take around 20 rupee 
maybe for if you know and if you don't know that what will be the cost for uh, uh, per conversion then you don't have to check this box right you have to go like this otherwise if you know that what what will be the costing for my conversion otherwise you can see here that a typical cost per install for other apps is 19 rupee so it is showing that basically it is uh, showing uh, some data that other apps are getting installed in just 19 rupee around 20 rupee right so if you want to apply this amount you can apply that otherwise you can leave this for now because we are in initial basis so i'm leaving this option now hit the next button now we are into add group where we have to create add right so as you can see we have four options display search oops i have to confirm my account first click Sometimes it asks because I haven't confirmed my account in last maybe one month. Let me verify. It is nothing just uh, my account needed a verification that uh, I am the person who is creating. That I am the real person who is creating this campaign. Right. That's why. That is not the part of campaign creation process. Now create. Uh, we have to create the ad. Right. First we have display then search YouTube discover. So our ad will be shown on these four platforms our ad will be shown uh, on display platforms like uh, blogs like different different kind of websites then we have search our ad will be shown in search as well google uh, search results then our ad will be shown in youtube and discover right so let's create or start with the headline creation process so i'm creating this campaign for gmail so let's add best I'm fast forwarding this part so that uh, you don't have to waste time here. This is not any knowledgeable part of this video. So guys, as you can see, I have added three headlines, although you can create up to five headlines and it is pretty important to create uh, all the headlines, right? You have uh, option to create at least uh, up to five headlines. So you should create so that Google can create multiple versions of your search ad. And this is very good to uh, add these headlines as we can, right? Then uh, you can uh, write description up, up to five, but I have added only two because the time issue and I just wanted to show you, right? So that's how you can add the headline and description. Then we have to add images and videos, images for display ads and then videos for YouTube and different, different kind of other platforms, right? Now, uh, if I click on images, so I don't have images re related to Gmail. So I'll be selecting these Im uh, images, right? Let me add few images which I can. And if you don't know how to upload these images, these are the sizes. If you don't know the sizes, you can search on Google that uh, sizes for Google ads and you'll be getting sizes like 1200 by 1200, then uh, 1200 by 628, then 250 by 250. These are the sizes you have to create, right? Once you create, you have to click on upload and you'll be uh, getting the option to upload it from your PC, right? So I have selected five images, hit the save and it is into add, it is added into my campaign, right? Now I have to add one video as well. So I have one video here for our live practical course so just to show you i am adding this as well but if you want to add videos you have to go to search youtube search first you have to upload it, these videos on youtube then from there you can select you can't directly add those videos or upload those videos directly on your uh, google ads right you have to first upload it on youtube then you have to uh, select that video in here right now hit the save button so 
or everything is done headline is done description is done image is done and video is done last we have html5 so if you have any html5 code handy uh, handy with you so you can upload that as well this is basically just to show the interface of your application right obviously you have created the application for your business then you definitely have html5 code right so you have to upload if you uh, you want to upload you can upload it then this will help you to show the interface of your application right now we have few more options in if i click on advanced this is just app url nothing special uh, also it is optional right now once your ad creation process is done hit the next button or and you can see that this is how our ad will be looking right on display on search search it's taking time that's how it will be look in search results or oh, it is taking pretty much time that's how right so i hope you understood and now let me directly go to the next button and this is the review section of our campaign right here we have to review that or uh, it is basically uh, the google ads is also reviewing checking for any errors if there is any error then you have to solve it otherwise you can publish the campaign from here right it is checking now it is showing that you haven't added the bid amount let me check again go and click on fix it okay it this is the thing it is asking for set a total uh, target cost but i have just yeah i have I've unchecked the box right so that you don't have to select it otherwise if it asks again it shouldn't ask right let me go back now this is asking bid budget and bidding option I have to fix it again let me go back to budget the budget also disappeared let me add 1500 which is around $20 I have already shown you now after adding the budget and uncheck the box my campaign uh, review is done as you can see here uh, I have again added the budget there might be some issue that my budget got disappeared that's why I have added the budget again and uncheck that box which was asking for to add the minimum app install uh, the app installation cost which I want to spend right now everything is done if you want you can review by yourself as well then once it's done click the publish button now it is publishing your campaign and once it's published as you can see here now uh, it will go under the review process Google's team will review then once the review process is done you will start getting the numbers start start getting seeing uh, the numbers right that how much installation you are getting how much impression you are getting right let me show you as you can see here right now it is showing eligible and we don't able to see any numbers here but once your campaign starts running we will be able to see the numbers right I'm in campaign right now if uh, you want you can go to all campaigns and there you'll be able to see the campaigns right this is the campaign which I have created right uh, right now I'm let me just turn it off so that because this is just a demo campaign I'm pausing it right so that's how you create your campaign for iOS application and I hope you understood if you like this video please hit that subscribe and like button if you still have any question or query please comment down below i'll answer those questions in the comment section itself i'll meet you in the next video till then bye bye